Hi, this is Andy from GPS Training. In this short video, I'm going to show you how you can pair an Android phone using the Garmin Connect app with a GPS Map 64S. This is so you can use the Garmin Connect features of the app to allow messages, anyone trying to ring you, or messages coming through on your phone to appear on the screen of the GPS device, and you can use the live track feature of the Garmin Connect app. So as long as you've got internet access on your phone initially, so you can download the Garmin Connect app to your phone. So you actually go to the Google Play Store on your Android phone and download the Connect app. I've already done this on the Android phone I'm using. So I'm just going to show you on the screen of the phone, we've got the Garmin Connect app here, the little Garmin Connect symbol. So you just go to the Google Play Store and, and search for Garmin Connect, download the app and follow the instructions to set up your Garmin account. With the app downloaded, I can now open up the app and just leave that open there. What we need to do is turn Bluetooth on the phone and actually Bluetooth on the GPS device. So I'm just going to go to the Map 64S now. So I've already got this 64S turned on. And normally to get to the main menus on your 64S unit, you just press the menu button twice and that takes you onto the main menus where you can select Setup. So using the up and down arrows on the 64S, you just move until you're on Setup, blue cursor on Setup, and then you press the Enter button on your map 64s the enter button when you're on the um on the bluetooth uh, setup setting sorry and then you move down to bluetooth i'm just going to show you that again i'm just going to press the quit button on the bottom of the screen so we've got the setup spanner displayed we press the enter button on the keyboard and we're now into setup and we move the cursor so that we're over bluetooth just using the up and down arrows and when we're over the wording bluetooth you then press the enter button again on your map 64 Sorry, I just hit the wrong button there. I'll just press quit and press enter again. Enter button at the bottom. And it should say pair mobile device with the wording OK. So what we can do now is press the enter button on the keyboard. We're ready to pair. And it says ready to pair. So you leave that on ready to pair. If you try to pair the GPS before, when you go into that menu for the first... Um, on the Bluetooth menu, you would have an option of pair device. You would select that and then press enter. As long as you get to this ready to pair screen on the Map 64S. What we're now going to do is go back to the phone. I'm just going to open up this phone. I'm actually going to close the app down for a second. So I'm just going to touch the button at the bottom of my phone just to close the app down. You need to go into the settings on your phone. So as long as you know where the settings are on your own phone, going into setup on this Android phone I'm using, we've got a little cogwheel symbol with settings. Obviously, that'll depend on your own Android phone. And you need to find your Bluetooth settings on your Android phone. Select your Bluetooth and make sure Bluetooth's turned on. On this phone, I can see Bluetooth's off at the moment. So just this little slider in the top right. That'll turn the Bluetooth on. And with the Bluetooth turned on, what should happen is we should see the Map 64S appear under available devices. If that doesn't happen straight away, what I normally do is either turn the Bluetooth on and off a couple of times or what you can do, most phones will actually have a little refresh option. It's three white, um, three white dots at the top right of this phone. If I touch on the three white dots, I get the option of refresh. And if I touch on refresh, it'll search again. And I can now see the GPS Map 64S appeared under list of available devices. We don't actually pair now from the phone itself. We go back to the Garmin Connect app. So I'm just going to close this down now on the phone. Just close the settings down. And I'm going to find the Garmin Connect app on the screen of the phone. Touch on the Garmin Connect logo. And now that we're on the Connect app, we touch the three white bars at the top left of the screen. So just the three white bars on the top left. And you scroll down until you see the option Garmin devices and where we've got Garmin devices listed. Sorry, I've run into settings there. So I'm just going to touch Garmin devices again. And then it gives me the choice. It's the same. Um, sorry, it shows you first anything that you've already got registered to your account. You wouldn't normally see anything there if you've not been using the app. I've had this app used a few times before. So you actually select add device. So after you've went into the Garmin devices, you look for this blue bar at the bottom of the screen that says add device and you touch on add device and then initially it will show you some fitness watches that you can add and you actually click on the browse all compatible devices at the bottom of the screen because it's not a watch that we're adding so we touch browse all compatible devices and now I can see it's the fourth option down it says GPS map but it's a GPS map 64 I'm going to add so we touch on that option GPS map sorry I've just hit the wrong option there so I'm just going to hit the back arrow 
and just touch on GPS map again that's better now and now I can see the option of GPS map 64 so we select the GPS map 64 and it says make sure your Garmin device is in Bluetooth pairing mode so I've left the device in that ready to pair mode so we just leave it in that ready to pair and now back on the phone where it says um, make sure your device is in pairing mode which we know we've got we look at the blue bar at the bottom of the screen which says search for devices it might be a bit hard for you to see on the phone screen here but it, the blue bar at the bottom should say search for devices and we just touch on search for devices and then it said it's found the GPS map 64 do we want to pair with it so we select yes we want to pair with it it's now setting up the device so it says setting up device and it's now asking for a pair code so when you actually look on the GPS screen now there's a pass key 250338 that I need to enter so I'll go back to the screen of the phone and I just touch on the white box where it's asking for the the number to be typed in and then on the keyboard we just type in the 250250338 so we've got the number typed in now and you just touch on done and that'll now finish and complete the pairing so I'm just waiting for that to finish now. So it says setting up device on the screen of the phone. We'll just give that a chance to pair. Sometimes it can take about 30 seconds to a minute. So you've just got to be patient as it's setting up the device. I'll just give it a second. It's not taking that first pair code. If that happens, you'll get another pass key appear on the screen of the GPS, which I've got here. So we're just going to type in the second number. I must have been too slow for that first number. So I'm just going to type in the second one. So don't panic if that happens, you just type in the second number that comes up, press done. And it now says setting up device. And we'll just give that a chance now. And hopefully the second time round with me putting in the second pair code, that one should find the GPS and finish up the setting. Like I say, it can take about 30 seconds to a minute. It now says it's found the device and I can just touch on OK. And that's now paired with the app. If I go back to the actual phone now, sorry, back to the GPS, on the GPS screen it now says connection on, I've got notification show, that means when notification show any messages that come through on your phone will appear on the screen of the GPS. I can actually see messages coming through now, so I've got this little red arrow up here with six, so that means the six messages already come from my phone onto the GPS. If we didn't want to see the notifications on the GPS, we simply move the blue bar down to notifications, press on the enter button, and we get the option of hide, and then you'd press enter. I'm going to actually leave these on, so I can just hit the quit button to come out of this screen now, back to the main screen on the GPS. Because I've actually got this paired with the app now, if I press and release the on-off button, it shows me that the Bluetooth is turned on, and it's telling me at the bottom to press the menu button for notifications. So I'll just do that again. Press and release the on-off button on the side of the unit. I can see Bluetooth's on. It's telling me to press the menu button for notifications. If I press the menu button, it then shows me any messages that people have been trying to get hold of me via the phone and you can just press enter on those messages and view the messages so I'm just going to press the quit button to come out of there now and I'm going to go back to the app now on the actual phone so back to the app on the phone if I touch the three white bars at the top of the screen now I can see a picture of a map 64 with a green dot so it's telling me it's connected and if I now actually scroll down to Garmin devices and touch on Garmin devices that this load and we can now see at the top it says GPS map 64s is connected I'll just let the camera focus back in on that there we go at the top it says GPS map 64 connected so that's now sorry it's actually syncing now so it's syncing data that's it there and it's now saying sync complete so it's synced any data with the phone so I hope you found this video useful on how you pair a map 64s with the Garmin connect app on an Android phone and thanks for watching